Hello, I'm back again. Last week, I showed you the stuff in the box that was N scale. Today, it's time to show you the stuff in the box that's HO scale. Let's go over to the workbench and take a look. All right, and here we are. This is an HO scale. VX166 60 foot boxcar. And this may look a little familiar because last week on N Scale Friday, we looked at the N Scale version of this same model. And I have to tell you, the HO Scale version of that model is even more impressive. There's a reason why this model retails for $49.95. There's actually a bunch of reasons. And one of the reasons is you can get this in. 30 different varieties. There are several in this paint scheme with different road numbers, and then there are other paint schemes with multiple road numbers available. You can look on Atlas's website to figure out what all they have. But this thing's amazing. And again, just like with the N-Scale one, the first thing that drew my attention was the detail in those side doors. They look like separately applied pieces, and the door track I'm looking at it from where I'm sitting behind the camera. That almost looks like a separately applied piece. I don't think it is, but it's so finely molded, if it is molded, that it looks separately applied. I mean, the detail on this thing's crazy. We'll take a closer look. Detail in the doors. Man, look at that. It looks separately applied for real. That's crazy. Also, the paint is perfectly applied. There's nothing wrong with the paint on this car, let me tell you. And all the markings on this car, crisp, legible, you can read everything. And I want to point out a couple things here. The stirrups are definitely to scale. These are separately applied wire grabs. Very impressive. And they're all straight, which is really good. Sometimes you get cars like this and they're not on straight. You kind of look at it and wonder what they were thinking when they made it. These are 100 ton trucks and 36 inch metal wheels. We're gonna look at the ends here in a second, but uh, wow, very impressive. Uh, before we move to the ends, I wanna mention, I did examine the door track a little more closely and it definitely looks like it's molded. These things look like they're separately applied pieces. Right, so I set the model down on the table just so I could point these out with my pointer. Separately applied ladder. Right? There's a grab that goes across. That's a very thin wire grab separately applied. The brake wheel is separately applied with the chain detail, right? That's a photo etched crossover platform. This thing's amazing. Look at the look how thin the cut lever is. Also, really this is one of those models. I've talked about this before. When you get a cheap model and you take it out of the box, you have to add all this stuff. This comes like this. So I'm sure when I started talking about this a while back and I said this is $49.95, that turned some people off right away. Oh my, that's so expensive. You know what? Not if you're gonna do this work to it anyway. There's an air hose too over here. That's not expensive. Oh, and I should mention the tack board also looks to be a separately applied piece. What would you add to this? I really marvel at all this fine, brake detail in here. This is simply amazing. And to think that this was all done at the factory. So when you, like I was saying before, so when you pull this out of the box, you just set it on the track and go. There's nothing you could do detail wise to this car. So that's it for this product spotlight. I have to say that I'm really, really impressed with the level of detail that was added to that box car. Again, it's a lot like the BX177 boxcar that we took a look at last year on Product Spotlight. That was a Santa Fe. It was also from Atlas. And as I said, I mean, I'm really impressed with the level of detail with the cut levers and air hoses and everything else that it has on it. I can't think of anything else that I would want to add to this model. So good job, Atlas. I'm really, really impressed. I can't wait to see more. And I'll catch you next time.